Mysteries Inside the Vex Network Through the brand new Enigma mission, we received cryptic text about the current stories involving the Taken, Vex, and a new leader. A specific mind may have returned, and a humanoid figure is making Vex more human. In the new Enigma mission, we enter the Vex network, explore as security measures are dealt with. The definition of the word Enigma, a person or thing that is mysterious, puzzling, or difficult to understand. Voice communications are jammed, thus we see text messages in the top left of the screen from some of our favorite characters. Saint has some great lines, failsafe as well, Ido, Ikora, and Osiris. So there's no dialogue, but there's actually a story going on here, and it's unfolding week after week. It seems the Vex are collecting and encrypting Golden Age technology. That's one thing we learn. Here's some of the transcripts. There has to be a method to this. A point. Lots of data encryption and lasers. This is old data from Nessus. Why now? This data is old and from the soul system. It is strange. Perhaps it predates the collapse. The Vex are amassing Golden Age tech, decrypting, analyzing, and liquidating it. There is danger in this, and not just us. This can't be an attack by a collective. This is the effort of an individual. Did someone infiltrate this place? The Vex want Golden Age tech. Why? That is not the right question. What or who is asking it of them? I see fingerprints present in the data here. Yes, I concur, Vex in nature. A Vex fingerprint made without Vex fingers? We get even more information centered around the Taken in a particular Vex mind we killed years ago with this week's version of the mission. Asset Query, The Taken. Reference File, Blade Transform. Corrupted. Data degradation critical. The Taken never left the Vex network. Do they have a commander? Maybe another potential threat. There's a pattern to this infestation. The Taken follow Vex searches, but to intentionally erase source data. Taken corruption is still inside the Vex net. Quiria brought it, an infection. The Vex are too afraid to purge it. When Taken die, where do they go? Back to the Ascendant Plane. Then they begin their journey again. So if you're new or haven't played in a while, you might be asking, what the heck is Quiria? Quiria Blade Transform, also known as the Dreaming Mind, was a Vex Hydra taken by Oryx long ago. Its purpose in the beginning was to try and simulate Oryx and understand the sword logic, but that didn't go so well and Oryx defeated it. From there, he partially took it with his taken powers. A time later, he would gift the mind to his sister Sabathun, and it would serve her from there on out until its death. Quiria could command taken forces and was responsible for many schemes under the Witch Queen like the curse cycle in the Dreaming City. During the Endless Night, directed by Savathun in Season of the Splicer, Quiria would gain control through the Vex network and cast an Endless Night upon our city. We took part in various expunge missions. Quiria would try and stall our progress, throwing all these different types of enemies at us. But Mithrax eventually found his location and the Guardian would end it for good. Quiria, Blade Transform, the Dreaming Mind. This is it! Fight with everything you have! Unbelievable. Coria is... gone. During those expunge missions, the Dreaming Mind would send secret messages to you, just like we now receive in the Vex network in Enigma. I see you, crawling around my domain like insects. This realm answers to only one master. You are nothing. You know nothing of power. Thrashing around like a wounded animal. Unaware that you are already dead. Your failure is written in time. Your victories are hollow things. 
I have seen your grave. I see you rent asunder, broken, taken. Back during Season of the Splicer, I made some videos speculating about if Quirio actually died. Its death animation seems like it kind of just phases to somewhere, and parts of its body would remain in the network, although that seems like a stretch. Now in the Enigma mission, we have these interesting messages popping up at the top left that make us question some things. Taken never truly die, it appears, as Ikora said, they just go back to the Ascendant Plane and start over. Quirio was partially taken, so is that true for the mind? What we do know is that something was searching through the network and it wanted information. So it could be interesting if Quiria is still alive, but we also know there is a humanoid figure behind the new Vex behavior and Echo on Nessus. Most believe this character is tied or is Dr. Maya Sundaresh. Either directly her, she somehow survived from Neptune parts of her brain, or one or many of those copies of her that were released into the Vex network a long time ago to explore. Seems like too much of a coincidence for it to not be her. Ikora said she sees fingerprints present in the data here, a Vex fingerprint made without Vex fingers. In Season of the Wish, we found an Ishtar symbol in a Vex structure in the Black Garden. Similar designs now hang on the necks around these new Vex on Nessus in collar form. And the Vex are acting more human, as we talked about in a recent video. One Vex goblin on Nessus was waving to a guardian. The guardian was about to investigate further, but another one went in and thunder crashed it. So was this the new character searching through the Vex net for Golden Age data and info about Quiria, the Taken and the Vex's relationship with them? Or does the mind itself still live? Before we wrap up the video, I thought it'd be fun to take a look at some of these funny text messages from characters like Failsafe. Although we just get text from this mission, Bungie portrays it in some pretty unique ways, and especially given the characters typing it. Failsafe says hello with a colon and a D, smiley face. Ikora says welcome to the Vexnet Guardian. The Vex will greet you shortly. Saint says the Vex know not who is coming for them. And Failsafe responds, their jelly faces will look like this. To which Osiris says, Radiolaria has no face. Failsafe also has some fun with fonts. She tries to make a Vex Hydra. And she says, wait, can I import fonts? Osiris is like, all right, chill. We got more important matters here. Failsafe does this multiple times for other enemies like the Minotaurs. Saint also gets in on the action. In all caps, he writes, Guardian, is this easier to read? I will use the big letters. Vex signals on your position. Anyway, Guardians, that's all we got for today's video. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like it, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.